So basically, I'm going to turn this laptop, this old laptop, into a server from my room. So basically, it's going to be a home assistant server. It's going to connect to all the devices that are on my network and basically just connect them all into like the same like area i guess all right the one thing that's important is that uh this server needs to be connected to the same network as all the other devices so it can be on a different network in my room i have a different router so it's gonna be a bit more difficult but i'm just gonna run a internet cord all the way to my room which connects to my router and then Instead of connecting to my router, it's going to be connected to this black box. Connected to this thing. So this thing is going to basically connect uh, my original router and then I can run another wire to the server. Basically just connecting it to the internet through a wire. Even though the wire is going to have to be pretty long and to be honest, it might be better to just use Wi-Fi at that point, but I already bought the wire, I can't go back now. After much uh, untangling and trying to find where this wire was, I finally got like a 50 foot internet wire. <laughs> so we're going to plug this in to the actual Wi-Fi and try to connect it to our server basically. Alright, so here's the router. Basically we're just going to have to disconnect it from the internet, like pull out the white uh, cord that goes from the original wire and put it into the black box or blue box. So we're just basically switching the wires. This out. It's from my original router to this. Just an extender or repeat. I don't know what you call this, but basically it's gonna give me more room to put another wire in. And we just need to get the other long cords wrap it around the room and bring it back to the table basically so all that extra work this isn't really part of the, the server setup i guess but we'll just connect that and start wrapping it around just wrap it on here and there we go we got the wire uh we're gonna plug it in now so uh, we're gonna have to clean this after, but let's just plug it in for now and then. Oh god, I can't even plug it in. I want it. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put this down. And let's just plug it in. This is bad dusty. Alright, we're gonna power it on. Just plug this in. Okay, so it's powered on right now. I uh, don't know what those white dot stuff are, that's new. But we'll just wait till that loads. Uh, it's connected to the internet, got the HDMI cord running to the monitor, it's powered on. Uh, all we gotta do right now is just wait for it to turn on and then we're gonna start the home assistant setup. All right, the server is complete. It's uh, set up, everything's running. We're just waiting for home assistant to load right now. Uh, if you haven't seen the last video, go check it out. It explains how to download home assistant. But basically, once we have this downloaded, we're going to just run some tests, you know, to try to connect stuff. But basically, all the devices will be on Home Assistant. It, sh it should show up. Uh, I'll link it right here. If you click here, there's some new automations. And what do I think? It's just custom stuff I built. You can just check it out right here. I don't know why I keep saying automation. Just check it out right here. I'll see you in the next video, though. Peace. Bye.